In this video, we're going to show you how to get the very best video quality from your DJI Action 3. Let's jump straight into it. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the video compression, which is found in the settings. You have two choices here, either H.264 or HEVC. Now, HEVC is also known as H.265, and this is the newer of the two video compressions that are available to us. Now, using HEVC video compression will give you the best quality video out of the two options available to us, and it will give you smaller file sizes. The only downside to using this video compression is you need a powerful PC to edit the footage, so make sure your PC is up to spec. The next setting we're going to look at is the colour and whether we should be using the Cine-like and 10-bit colour. In normal colour mode, the Action 3 is able to capture 8-bit data, which means it's capable of capturing 16 million different colours. But if we change it over to 10-bit colour, it is able to capture 1 billion colours. Yes, 1 billion different colours. So you're probably thinking that using 10-bit Cine-like is the way to go. Well. Not necessarily, unless you're going to be colour grading your footage in post, which a lot of people don't want the hassle of doing, then it's worth avoiding. In fact, for most people, they won't be using 10 bit colour. And you may be thinking that you're missing out on loads of colours, but truthfully, you probably will never see the difference. So my advice would be, unless you're colour grading your footage, keep it in normal colour mode. Next, we're going to be looking at our resolution and our frame rate. Let's start with resolution. And the simple fact is, if you want the highest quality, you've got to go for the highest resolution. In fact, I encourage everybody, no matter what camera they own, to always record at the highest resolution that the camera is capable of. That way, you're always getting the highest quality. And remember, in post, you can always lower the quality of the resolution, but you can't increase it. It's also worth noting next to our 4K resolution, we have the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. This is the standard aspect ratio for video. Next, we're going to look at frame rate and which frame rate you should use because there's so much confusion surrounding frame rate. 24 and 25 frames per second are mainly used for movies. 30 frames per second is used for broadcast television and anything above 30 frames per second is really only used for slow motion footage. What you need to be asking yourself is, am I gonna be slowing down the footage in post? If you're not, then I recommend sticking with either 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. I normally keep mine at 25 frames per second. Now also worth noting that your frame rate doesn't change the quality of your video. The final thing we're going to be looking at is whether you use the standard video mode or the HDR video mode. Now in normal daylight settings, you're going to be wanting to use the HDR mode because this catches the most amount of data out of the two options. So if you want the highest quality, switch it over to HDR. But if you're looking to record at night or in super low light settings, then you're better off switching to the standard video mode. So there you have it, how to get the best quality from your Action 3 camera. Video compression should be set to HEVC. Resolution should be 4K with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Your frames per second should either be 24, 25 or 30. Unless you're looking to slow down your footage in post, in which case choose a higher frame rate. And in normal daylight settings, select HDR video mode or at night, select standard video mode. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you why you shouldn't be using filters on your Action 3 camera. So if that's something of interest to you, make sure you like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that next episode. But that's it for now. We'll catch up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.